Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video we are going to talk about how to handle async await with the formic forms. So we are already using a use formic hook and yup for schema validation you can see here. So only just a minor change which you need to do here is if you want to track if you wanted to use async await then you just need to wrap the function around async and await this can be your set timeout, sleep or some exios call which you are making to APIs. So sometimes what happens is you wanted to do something once the response is received from the first API call, right? Like you are submitting this form and then some response is coming and then you wanted to do some asynchronous thing again. Then in that case you can write the await chain of await methods like await. Here you can do something else. Okay, and you will pass the data which you have received from a first await function. Await uh, something, this can be one method and you will be receiving data from there and that data you are passing to something else. Right, some kind of scenario might come. In that case, we can use the async await with this on submit method which is supported by Formic. Okay, this is I think very basic and uh, now we have understood how to use formic with the use formic and with the formic component. These are the two variants which are popularly used like in the class based component you can use just a formic component even in the functional component also you can use a formic component. There is no restrictions on it but mostly with the hooks with the functional component we write hooks right. So we thought of let's use the use formic hook provide all the parameters here the initial values validation scheme and on submit. So this initial value which you are seeing these initial values can also come from props. So something like sometimes what you do is you are actually getting some data from the props. In that case like here I can pass these props and I can initialize these values coming from props only. So here I will be returning this object. So I need to just wrap it around another parenthesis and I can say this is what I'm returning. Okay. So props dot name consider that like this. So this is like loading the values or initializing the form with predefined values. And then you can call this initial values function here. simple and you have to pass the props so that we can get all the values right. So this is how you can initialize it. So in simple form what we happens what happens is sometimes we reset the form sometimes we pre-populate the form with some predefined values and once form is submitted we try to reset the form also right. So all those things we will see in the formic component how to load the initial values how to submit the values how to reset the form and how to make the form submitting state. So there are a lot of transition state, right? You fill the form, you click on submit, form is being submitted to some API call, re response received. Now you will just change something on the UI showing that form has been submitted, right? So those all transition state, we will talk in the next video with the forming component. Okay, thanks everyone.